12 days of Christmas series. I cannot believe the series is at an end. I want to give a special thanks to Rosa of Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking for inviting me to participate in this collaboration with Robin Pitts, who is Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs, and Debbie, who is Deborah Adams Creative Life here on YouTube. I will leave their links in the description box below. I wanted to remind you of what my giveaway rules are. You must be 18 years or older, a visible subscriber to all of the channels because we will be checking to see if you're subscribed and leave a comment daily as well as give a thumbs up. The giveaway will close on December 17th and I will announce my winner on the 19th. And the prizes that I'm giving away are two $25 gift certificates to ASC Craft Supplies. And I'll have their link as well in the description box below. And what I have created today is this lattice top basket. It is an SVG file from my scrap chick. And I have a loaded tag in the middle and then just a standard easel card that I've created. I used Stamperia Pink Christmas from ASC Craft Supplies. They have two websites and I will link both of those in the description box below. And remember when you're shopping there to use my coupon code Michelle10 for 10% off and any order of $75 or more ships free. And the last top basket, it, I'm sure it looks familiar because Robin did create it earlier this year and then once again for the 12 days of Christmas series and I have been wanting to make one so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity and I think this collection was perfect for it. So I did use some lace along the bottom of the lids and along the bottom and the handles as well. I used some pink seam binding and used my Zetter bow at all and I do have a tutorial on how I make my bows and I will try to remember to link it in the description box as well. But I just love the papers and some of them you could use any time of the year. Now there are a couple sheets that have a Christmas scene like Santa and then there's like a church similar to this picture here on the paper and then a couple sheets that have the wood grain that have snowflakes. But as far as the floral pages go, you could use these any time. And I did use several pieces from the chipboard collection and some flowers from ASC Supplies as well, but I love how that came out. I've used the candle and then I've just adorned it with the flowers and of course I had to use some diamond dust and I love this little banner with Christmas and I used this brooch that's been in my stash forever. So just loving it and I did use the white glitter paper as the base and then my decorative paper. And I'll just hold it up so a little closer look for the really pretty. And this just kind of reminds me of like little snowballs. And then just a beautiful dainty lace along the bottom. And I use that lace on the handle as well. And on the other lid, I have these little girls ice skating and chose to use the word joy. And another little bling piece for my stash. Some more of the flowers from ASC. And of course, I put some more diamond dust on them. I just think it's so pretty and sparkly, especially when it's winter or Christmas crafting. I love using the diamond dust. And I did just add some little berries to fill in the floral clusters. And I do have a piece of lace, which most of it did get covered up by the time I embellished the tops of the lids. And I forgot to show you the middle piece. It says for you, and then I just used some little lace pieces there on the edge. And the lids do lift up, and I have filled the basket with handmade flowers. I'll just take a couple out. I have been using these all through this series, and I wanted to gift some to the person this is going to. So I did six, six or seven white and six or seven pink, and then I used the mini pearls in the center for the stamen. So I'll just put those back in there, and then I cut out this gorgeous Santa Claus from the paper. And he, and I did use some of the Distress Dry Glitter, Dry Stickles Glitter on his brim of his hat and his coat and his cuffs. And then I put some diamond dust on the flowers and then some more of the Rock Candy Glitter along the scene on the sleigh just to add some more sparkle. And then it says Merry Christmas here. I have a little strip a little border strip I cut from the paper. I have some leaves that I've cut out with my Cricut. 
and I used some more of those little little filler pieces and I mimicked the flowers that are in the scene here which I thought looks very close to what they used in the floral spray in this lay. I have some tool and a trim that is sparkly along the back and then I have some more trim down here on the bottom. It kind of reminds me of snow. And then I created some snowflakes and I love how these came out. And these little centers reminded me of a snowflake so that's why I used those. And then I created some of these bows with some lace and then the little snowflake rhinestone. And then I gifted her three bows on the inside. They're made the same way. And I did run diamond dust along the edge of the bows where the pink and the blue meet. And this is what the top of the tag looks like. There's some of that trim and then just various seam bindings. And there's the really pretty paper that is on the back of the tag. So I was very happy with how those came out. And then I have my easel card. And I'll tilt it up here so you can see the Merry Christmas. And I used a Heartfelt Creations die from ASC Supplies and then some more of the flowers. I have some lace tucked in behind each floral cluster. There's some right there. And I do have some very tiny little rhinestones that I tucked in the cut cutouts of the die. Just three little pieces there. They're kind of hard to see. They're very small. And I did cut the Merry Christmas out with the Cricut, and I have everything layered on this really pretty white glitter cardstock. And this scene was just a cut apart in the paper collection. And I love the look of the church and the little bridge, and then get the little gate to enter the town. It's just so pretty, and the snow covered trees. And I did put some diamond dust on the flowers again, and then I tried to mimic the floral cluster in this corner up here on the right. But I think it came out really nice. I want to go over my giveaway rules. Once again, you must be 18 years or older. A subscriber to all of our channels. Leave a comment daily. And make sure to give us a thumbs up. Remember to check out the other ladies' channels because, they're, because their rules could vary slightly. Visit ASC Craft Supplies. And use my coupon code MICHELLE10 for 10% off. And you will receive free shipping on any order $75 or more. Thanks for all of your comments. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.